We're at the Zayed Future Energy Prize Awards at Abu Dhabi's Emirates Palace, where INSEAD alumna Samia Haji's company, Nauru Energy, was one of seven finalists shortlisted for three awards worth between $500,000 and $1.5 million. Samia, unfortunately you weren't successful tonight. How has this affected your, your funding plans? Yeah. No, we were very happy just to be a part of this process you know, and to make it this far. You know, the, the other six finalists were... Uh, they're much larger organizations, uh, very worthy of the prize. Uh, and the three, the, the one winner, the two runner-ups cer certainly deserve it. Um, so we're very happy uh, for them. Uh, for us, it doesn't change our funding plans at all. You know, we, we've raised a significant amount of money from Bank of America Merrill Lynch. We've raised money from the Africa Enterprise Challenge Fund. There are some other funding sources that we're looking at at the, at the moment. Um, so our funding plans have, have not changed. Since you created your company, Nauru, three and a half years ago, you've won about a dozen similar prizes worth about a million dollars. How important was this to, as part of your seeding funding? Yeah. No, the, the, the grant money that we raised uh, from the very start was, was crucially important, um, primarily because we initially had a, an idea that didn't really have a commercial um, business model behind it. Uh, and it had to be developed and, and nurtured over the course of two years before it became attractive to a commercial financier like Bank of, Amer Bank of America Merrill Lynch. And uh, so for the first few years, we relied strictly on grant funding to develop the product, refine the business model, and really perfect what it is that we are now doing. Okay, well you now have 70 franchises and over 10,000 lights in use across the Rwanda. But it's taken a lot of struggle and a lot of pushing to get awards and getting money. Do you have any advice to, to new entrepreneurs starting out, particularly those in social enterprises? Yeah. A social enterprise is, is no, not much different than any other startup company. Um, and in fact, it's even more difficult, I would say, because of some of the environments that we're working in uh, are quite remote, they're quite uh, uh, difficult environments and difficult, difficult places uh, to work. Um, so I, I think for, for budding social entrepreneurs, you really have to have that grit, that passion, um, to, to try and uh, really carry your idea from conception all the way to the end. And what about when it comes to funding? Is there any advice you should give you would give them as to how to continue with their seeding funding and how to move on and take it up a stage up from there? Yeah, I think I think it's important. I think if we were going to do it all over again, we would have probably found a, a found a person on our team that was strictly looking at financing uh, full time from the beginning. Uh, it's such an important part of, of any any business, not necessarily just a social enterprise. Um, so, so early on, I would I would highly recommend that there is a finance person looking at grant funding to start, uh, but also with the mind of of looking at other sources. Carbon finance is an area that we we explored and that we ultimately um, uh, you know signed a deal with Merrill Lynch on, on a carbon finance deal. Um, angel investors, social venture capitalists, venture philanthropists. I mean, there's a lot of capital out there for innovative social uh, socially motivated ideas. Great, well good luck with the venture and thanks for being with us on INSEAD Knowledge. My pleasure, thank you very much.